of the worldwide society move forward in time, it is certain that the world will change and greet us with new challenges. Movement forward, reflection, memory, and wisdom of the past are paramount to inform our present and aid possible futures which may connect and improve our society as a whole. Observing the present and looking forward, we believe the 9-11 Museum can be a vital source for discourse, education, and reflection to assist the country and world in making a more peaceful and thoughtful society. Anne is a journalist living in a rural community one hour outside of Paris in 2060. After the water and oil wars, journalism has become much less exciting for her. She is taking time to reflect and consider what she would like to do next, in a world that is still healing from many years of conflict. She plans to visit the major cities of the world with her newfound free time, to perhaps find some meaning in the events which have just occurred and where to position herself in the future. Anne notices the ribbons as she approaches. She is asked by a park guide to sign and then tie one on the wall. This action, Anne feels, helps her to understand she is now entering a space with meaning and purpose. She gazes at the pool and looks up towards the sky at One World Trade Center. The weight of the footprints of these two pools is not lost on her and she begins to think of the fighting that had been raging across the globe not too long ago. After some reflection, she locates the Personal Trajectory Resource Center, where she's able to browse suggested pathways to follow during her visit. She is provided with an earpiece and ring, which work in concert with sensors to guide her around the site. By swiping or hovering over an artifact or point of interest, the ring prompts audio descriptions, enabling Anne to stay present on her pathway. With these devices, Anne may move freely about the grounds. She can proceed directly to the museum, which currently has a special exhibit highlighting members of the FDNY. The museum now works on a curated cycle, highlighting various parts of the narrative of 9-11. This is to give the user more space for reflection and to encourage repeated visits. Anne could also attend a lecture where visiting professors and scholars speak on a wide range of subjects. As well, the museum is an accredited university which accepts students from around the world to study aspects of how to promote peace worldwide through history, science, and philosophy. After her journey through the site, Anne sits for a moment of thought. She is hopeful and feels many of her lingering questions have been answered. She makes a promise to herself to come back once a year as to consistently keep learning and understanding so that she might share her thoughts with her own community at home and her readers worldwide. 